everybody. This is Karen from Wellness Works Northwest. Yes, we're moving through the summer and all that good stuff. Things are going better. We're getting better every day, right? That's what I wanted to hear. Yes. You know, it's been 100 years since women got the right to vote. The very first. Can you believe that? On 100 years. So a lady named Susan B. Anthony and her friend, Linda Katz, decided that they would get a strategy going, make things happen. They needed to what? Tell their story. It was so important. So way back in the day, they had to think about, now how are we going to tell our story? So back then, there was no TV, so we actually went to speeches. That was our TV. And people were speaking, and everybody would gather together and go, oh, good, for comedy, drama, whatever we needed. So what the girls did was they decided that they would basically plan this whole tour in the winter, okay, because it was a much better thing to do. Oh, see, there you go, we. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ding dong. See, it's a live YouTube, yes. And <laughs> so they decided that they would travel. I mean, when I say travel, they had horses, they walked, crawled half at a time to get their word out about women being able to vote. At the time, they called it women's suffrage, as a matter of fact. And so they said, we're going to do this. This is going to be hard and everything. Most of the time, the people who did the little speaker circuit, let's call it that, they weren't doing it in the wintertime because it was harsh to be out there in the wintertime. It's like, no, we'll wait till the weather's better. But the girls developed a strategy. They said, you know what? We need to get our message out. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to travel in the winter when nobody else really wants to get out there and do a lot of traveling. We'll come to them and you know, come see us. And it worked. So that was their strategy. What they wanted to do was get out there so that they can actually get the message out and say, hey, women have opinions too. And the country will grow quicker, the whole nine yards. They brought out all the good points about women having the ability to actually vote. Yeah! And that's how they did that. So they knew who the influencers were. They knew all that. They advertised as much as they could at the time and said, we're going to be there. And they gave them this wow. The wow was, hey, you know, women should vote. And they got a lot of men to agree with them, too. So men then actually helped the entire movement. That's how they did it. They had a strategy. They had a tactic. They went out there and made it happen. Yes! Boy. And you know, during that time, oh, yeah, I don't mean to make it sound like it was light, because it was very, very difficult for a lot of the women out there. A lot of times uh, they would go on uh, marches where they wouldn't even eat. They refused to eat. They would try, they'd put them in jail, try to feed them, and they would refuse to eat. So it got a little, whew, they fought really hard to do this. Very, very hard. And that's one thing my great, great grandmother always told me, boy, a lot of people fought for me to be able to actually go and vote. So it was super important for her to vote. And she did. And just the other day, they gave Susan B. Anthony, who has been dead for quite some time, <laughs> they gave her a pardon because she voted anyway. At one point, she dressed up like a guy and voted. God bless her. She had tactics. The girl was ready. You know, she was ready to make it happen. <laughs> So they did put her in jail, and it was on the records, and they just pardoned it just a few days ago. So, as you see, progress sometimes takes a while, but she never gave up. She hung in there to the very end, and it took a lot. It took a lot of people. She had to influence other people. So if you're trying to do something, grab a hold of somebody else and make those important connections that you need to make, like losing weight or having a wellness plan. You knew I was going to get to that, though, didn't you? Yes. You can do it too. A lot of times it helps to have people in your corner. A lot of other people might want to lose weight, gain weight, get healthy, or just get up and move. So grab a hold of them, get a good strategy going, and make it happen. That's what Susan B. Anthony did. So that's just kind of a walk through the past. And now we're going to do a little exercise. And I do, do, do. I'm going to do a little thing. It's called a curtsy. And it's a bit of a stretch. So you have your front leg guy, and we're going to call your front leg your right leg this time, and you're going to come behind like that, and you're going to just kind of, literally kind of curtsy down, nice and easy. That's stretching all of these muscles, your inner thigh, and you're coming back up. 
And you can do that as slowly as you need to, or as fast for that matter. Really stretches this leg and that leg. And then, that's right, you gotta come over to the other side and do the very same thing. Just take your time, go down, and you can feel it here. And you can make it more intense by going back further if you feel like you should do that, nice and easy, and come back up. Yes! And now, these, I love these things. I call this my diagonal donkey kick. So you're down here, a regular donkey kick is just up. You go up. But with the diagonal one, you're going out, bam, and out, and bam, and out. That's right. And when you're going up like that, you squeeze those glutes. Yeah, squeeze. That's right. It's a good gluteal thing. I love that. And while you're down here, once you get done with about five or ten of those, what you can do is you can open up those hips simply by coming up. And this is a really big one. It's hard to open your hips. It really is. So when you're doing it like this, you're, you know you did it. That's right. Squeeze and come back. And squeeze. And then do the other side. And squeeze. There you go. And squeeze. There you go. And squeeze. I had someone saw me in the store the other day. He just came up and he said, squeeze. I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I don't know. You guys are awesome. So if you're thinking about doing something, get together with a few friends. It makes it just better. It really does. You can go farther if you grab a hold of somebody else. Boom. And they can help you along the way. Just like Susan B. Anthony. You guys are awesome. Let's put that wellness plan together for you. Keep smiling. I'm sending you all kinds of wonderful positive prayers and positive vibes. See you soon.